A man charged with murder in a 2022 homicide case has been found not guilty by a jury. Vontae Garrett is now a free man 13 months after he shot and killed a man at the Crocs Bar and Grill in South Toledo. His attorney is State Representative Josh Williams, and Williams argues that Garrett acted in self-defense. Our Michael Sandlin joins us live. And Michael, what is this uh, that about Representative Williams being upset over the handling of evidence in this case? Well, Jeff, Garrett might be returning back to regular life, but Representative Williams says he could have been free months ago if not for the fact that Toledo police detectives at the scene either misplaced or lost a key piece of evidence before the trial. Now, Representative Williams says he's looking into options both as a lawyer and a state representative to try to make sure this situation never happens again. Thirteen months after the violence at Crocs' bar and grill, Vontae Garrett is a free man. I mean, of course, it can anger you to hear your name being slandered and things not be true said about you. But honestly, you got to trust, trust the justice system and the jury of your peers picked out. Last October, Garrett, a former U.S. serviceman and a former special deputy sheriff, was going to the bar with members of his family when, according to Garrett's testimony, a group of people led by Mark Weisinger, 32, entered the bar and started causing problems. Mr. Weisinger and Benz arrived through the back door. They instantly were obnoxious, laying on the bar, throwing ice at one of the members of his party, and that started a confrontation. According to Garrett's testimony, it reached a fever pitch when Weisinger threatened to shoot them. So looking to avoid more trouble, Williams says Garrett and his party began to leave, only for Weisinger's group to follow them out, leading to a decisive moment in the parking lot. Garrett says he could see the two men begin to pull out guns and rush toward him. Weisinger, the, the decedent, is behind him, reaching for his waistband while running towards him while yelling, shoot. And my client focuses on center mass and fires two rounds, one of which struck Weisinger in the head, killing him. That's self-defense here in the state of Ohio. But officers at the scene ruled the event a homicide, and a grand jury indicted Garrett, throwing him in the Lucas County Jail. But Representative Williams says he likely wouldn't have ended up behind bars if TPD had turned over a key piece of evidence. Camera video from a home across the street showing the entire incident with audio. It was on this video, you would have heard Weisinger commanding Benz to shoot, shoot. The, the detective, Detective Schaller, watched this video and the homeowner came and testified that he took her phone and sent the email directly to himself and watched the video on his own personal uh, 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 police issued phone. The video disappears and they made no effort, no effort to find it. Williams says he used this investigative mistake, plus video of the incident from the bar's security cameras, to demonstrate in court that TPD's responding detectives and the prosecution didn't have all the evidence. In trial, the detective testified he never knew there was a zoom in feature. So when I started zooming in on videos, you could clearly see what was happening. The fact that we could see the black item in slow motion coming from his ankle, even though the detective testified his hand was open and empty, that was a game changer for the jury. And these two details were enough to guarantee that Garrett could finally see sunlight again, ready to retake his life. But Williams says trials like this can never happen again. So he's proposed Ohio House Bill 233 in June, which would change the law to allow people who use lethal force be able to provide evidence before a trial that they were using self-defense. And he says he hasn't forgotten the mistakes of the Toledo police detectives either. And now that mistake may be the form of a basis for a, a lawsuit here against the Toledo Police Department in regards to lost evidence. We are exploring all of our options moving forward. I reached out to the Toledo Police Department and the representatives say they politely declined to respond. Meanwhile, Garrett says he's just trying to move forward with his life. He's trying to buy a new truck, get back his house, and he says he's hoping to find a new job and move on from this disturbing chapter. Reporting in downtown Toledo, I'm Michael Sandlin for WTOL 11.